Community development is my initiative. And uh, government has a general policy, and I took advantage of it. In Bongo, I happened to be the first district development center. Now, the building took us exactly seven months to build. The two buildings. And in the original specifications from the drawings, the sound of these things, like you see, the, the disabled ramp was not in the plan. And as we were building through, we realized some of this, and we took the building plans back to the project managers and we said, look, can we do this to accommodate disabled people? And some of the building materials that we used, they were not in the original plan. Like, for instance, the plans were for us to use timber. We decided that we will use steel. The window frames that you can see, we don't want to put louver blades, we wanted to put glass. But we did not change the, the, the whole concept of the building. The building featured to the community and it stood the standard that the department wanted and more so in compliance with Department of Works uh, requirements. Community Development Center will have 50 offices and 50 officers from different departments. Department of Justice itself will have an office. And Department of Higher Education, they said they want an office. And many wanted to have an original office, so, and there are 50 have already indicated. Uh, not only the departments, but other non-governmental organizations. At the back is the lodge, uh, where distressed mothers can have a rest. Out here at the back is the transit house. I think they've included it into the, into the concept because um, I think at first initially they, they wanted it to use, um, use it as a training center as well. So if they have people coming in for training, instead of having to look for accommodation somewhere else, they can stay in here and then just um, come in to work or train. I myself on the ground is working here for the last nine years. Been working with the communities, been an officer on the ground, covering the three allergies of Imbongo district, Yalu Basin, Lower Mendy and Imbongo proper. But to my own division, I'm very, very thankful to my member, Honorable Pila Niningi, and Minister for Intergovernment Relations. It's a first of its kind in the Southern Islands and in Papua New Guinea. I want to take this opportunity to thank the Community Development Department, and one of which is a very important person I wanted to make a mention is the Secretary. The Secretary put her heart into it and all stuff, and they made it happen. I also wanted to thank the national government for making possible I mean, a major part of the money is coming from them. And that we also did our bit. And we want to thank all of them who contributed to make this a reality.